Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agwiko and in this video, I'll be showing you how to buy USDT on P2P market using your local bank app to buy direct from this uh, exchange. And for the purpose of this video, we'll be using BitGate exchange. And uh, irrespective of your country, you can perform this transaction. You can do it without involving the third party. Okay? So, without wasting much of your time, let's uh, dive into action. And then see you on the other side of the video. Then, over here on BitGate, as you can see in my dashboard, I have just uh, $2.22. So, once you are at this interface, you tap on more then tap on p2p allow it to load so once it's loaded like this if you are doing it for the very first time you have to tap here at this icon to select your country currency because you can do this anywhere irrespective of your country and then I I'm performing this transaction from Nigeria, so I have to add my country currency, which is NGN. Then tap on it. As it opens like this, here are the list of uh, those wanting to sell their USDT. Then as you scroll down, you take a look, select your, your category. For instance, this first person, his minimum is 195,000. The second person, his minimum is about 17,500, which is about $10, like that. Just make sure you, you take a look. And then also check how many um, transactions the person have done and then the percentage he got. Always go for high percentages, like 90%, from 90% upwards. You can see this percentage. The percentage means the trust the platform already have on the person. Like this person now is 100% trusted. This person is 96%. This person down here, 96%. You can also see those that are restricted. So make sure you check all these things. But me, I don't normally use this place. Where I normally use is the fastest way. Just click here at this icon, Express tap on it then you input the amount of the amount you, you wish to spend like the minimum amount you can buy from Nigeria is 5,000 naira but I think I will go for 10,000 okay once you put the amount you tap on this icon buy USDT okay let me do let me do 20,000. 20,000, then tap on buy USDT. Then here you select, select payment mode. Select a payment mode, like you select bank transfer, and then click on confirm purchase. Okay. At this interface, now I'm going to pay 20,000. The price of one USDT is uh, 1,748 naira. And then I'm going, if I pay the 20,000, I'm going to get 11.44 USDT. And I, the, the payment I have to use is bank transfer. Then I, I go ahead and tap next. Then uh, here is uh, the bank detail. Of the person that I'm going to pay to, which is uh, I'm, I'm paying twelve thousand. Sorry, I'm paying twenty thousand to Omar Yusuf, bank transfer, bank name, bank pay, bank account, and then the branch is Lagos. I have to copy the the account number, then leave this page. I open my bank app, which is uh, Ope. Then open here paste the the account that I copied then here is select the bank okay the name is Yusuf Omar click next impute the amount 
which is 20,000. Over here, very important. On this remark, please do not put any crypto related word, especially if you're doing this transaction from your bank account in Nigeria. Do not use any crypto related word. Instead, leave it empty. Then click on confirm. Click on continue. Click on pay. Done. Then I go back. As I come back to my Bits Get app, tap on Next, keep tap on Pay, then uh, select I have transferred the money. Click on Confirm. and now wait for and then if you wish to for it over here if you wish to contact the the seller click on contact over here you can you can chat with the you can chat with the person you just paid money to and then you can see a buyer is making payment payment 11 point 11.44 usdt so i think that's that's all then uh, i go to my dashboard then over here on my dashboard as you can see i've just been credited by the person i paid in, i paid into his account which is a, a you remember before i have a two dollars 22.22 and then I have just been credited 11.44 amounting to $13.66 so that is how simple it is all you need to do once you make the payment make sure you go back and click I have clicked that button I have paid and then you wait for the person to credit you sometimes it doesn't work you know this is a video I have to post some parts and then continue when the, the payment have reflected. Sometimes it lasts up to 30 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes, sometimes even take up to one hour. So all you need to do, once you make that payment, go back and click, I have paid. And then you wait on the person to credit you. Or better still click on contact the, the seller. Uh, you can charge them up. Some of them usually leave their number there where you can charge them up. Or, call the number as well so that is how simple it is okay all right guys thanks for watching and please if you have any question kindly leave your question on the comment box i will be there to answer every of your question okay and then uh, if it is your first time coming across this channel kindly click the subscription button and also give this video a thumb up so that youtube can recommend it to other viewers thanks for watching and then see you on my next video